So this um, droplet, actually, I, oh, actually, you know what, I'll do this because this is how I, um, um, what can I do? Just, oh, let's just take a photo of me in a screen because let's push this up when it saves. When it saves, because the computer's going to start running really slow now. So what I've been doing a lot lately, and this is ideal for, uh, where should I look? This is ideal for for looking um, the what I'm going to show it is really I ideal for if you need to do something on a real regular basis, and you can even batch process um, things with droplets. So first of all, we're going to go into um, going to make a file a file um, a little bit of a workflow first so first of all um, we just make a new folder and we will just make this um, temporary folder and this will be if you batch process uh, a lot of thing a lot of folders so that goes like that then we'll make the droplet which we'll put here and then after that we will have where where it's going to save to okay so we have to make this first so um we'll just put um jpegs because what i'm finding is that um I'm saving a lot at the moment. I'm saving a lot of um, screenshots that I need to convert to JPEGs, and and it's this. I have to do this mechanism every single time. I thought, well, I I must do it every time. So I thought, well, why not make show you how to make a droplet? And not many people know what the droplets are. So I'm going to open this image up. Um, I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. Actually, no, I'm going to copy it first. Let's. Let's copy it. Where do I? Uh, uh, there, there's a copy of it there. I'm going to push that over to one side, and I'm going to with this image here. I'm going to open up Photoshop. Open up Photoshop. Okay, here's that image, and all oh, you can't see me now. <laughs> no, that's probably a good thing actually. Okay, so with this image here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, an action and then I'll create the droplet. So what happens is we, you, you drop the file onto the, the droplet and then it runs an action. But at the moment I haven't made that action yet. So let's go and make this action. I bet it's in button mode, right? It's in button mode. We take it out of button mode. And we go down to here and it says new set that says new action i don't want that i want new set which is this one here a new set and i'm just going to call this jpeg conversion because anything i put in here is just going to convert to jpeg uh, so J, jpeg conversion that's that and that will go right at the bottom here no doubt that will end up let's get rid of this oh no oh, i've already done one so i did this early one okay uh right let's remain something else um yeah uh, p i c p x p x j so that's the one, that's a new droplet we're going to do that. I'm going to do uh, that because it saves you doing it a bit. Okay, and it will now save it here. Let's close this. Let's close this. It's going to be here. Okay. So now in that there, I'm going to now create an action. Now it's going to be the conversion. JPEG 
and I'm gonna give it a color let's give it violet nice violet so after we've done it and we then put it into button mode I'll put this um, I'll put this here I've dragged it at the top so we can see where it is I don't always have the that at the top so we're going to record this so every everything we do now is going to be recorded so it's layer one which is not the best because normally it will look for a background so this matches may or may not work um, normally you want background at the background here now it should work with everything but for the purpose of this demonstration I think it will be fine okay so let, let's just let's just run it so all I'm going to do now is go up to select not layer um, uh, here save as and then I'm going to save this as a not PNG I'm going to save it as a JPEG and then I need to choose where it's going to go to and we want this file to go into download desktop it's on the desktop temporary JPEGs, not that one. Is it JPEGs? Can't remember now. It's below, isn't it? Would be, wouldn't it? Let's put it in JPEG. So, sh yeah, I'll put it in. Let's see what this one is. Hang on, because I've got something else over. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in JPEGs. Uh, go in there, okay. And we're going to save that. And then I ask it what size. Um, so here you can just specify the size and for a lot of stuff I do I mean I make the thumbnails and um, I need it three but I'm going to keep it here at 10 but you can move this quite happily around so just keep it at 10 okay and then I'm gonna um, close this so then I will then close the image close and that's finished so now unfortunately it's still recording um, we need to get back to Photoshop again so what I will do is um, drag this into Photoshop again it will open up and then here it is still open here so now we can stop this click on this and bin it we don't need that so now we can do this conversion to JPEG do this and I'm going to drag that up to the top so now it will be at the top of the button mode I'm going to put it back into button mode Donk. and it's here so let's move that out of the way let's close that so just see if it did save in there, and it did, it's there. I'm gonna get rid of that now, because I don't need it. So we're gonna go back into Photoshop again. Photoshop again. That's the open image. Let's move me down so you can see what's going on. So now we need to automate this process and make the droplet which will um, it will end up going in here so we can either just pick up the folder and then drop it onto here or we can then batch process a load and put it in a temporary folder and then just pick that up and then just drop it on it will do the same thing because it will just go back and run that action so let's create this um, droplet so we're going to go into file oh, automate and here we have 
Pass scripts. Create drop block. It's here. And where it is over there. Look. Da, 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 da. Now we can choose here, save droplet in, choose. We want it on the desktop, but you can put this any way you like. I'm going to put it on the desktop so I know where it is. You can give it a tag and give it a color, but it's going to go on the desktop. And you need this one not ticked, this one not ticked, suppress all file names, and uh, you don't want that on ticked, but you've got to. Do that, stop for errors. That's pretty much it. Destination, because we have already in this particular action told it where it's gonna save, we don't have to do anything with this. For me, it's the easiest way. You can go in there and do it and then you can rename all this. I don't, I just don't. Uh, so, okay. Now, it's created the droplet here. So then we can then just put that there. Right, so we will now close Photoshop and we can, I can have this open, yeah. So we have this open, there's nothing in here. So we've got a couple of choices here. There's, is there anything in the template folder? Nothing in the template folder. So this is this here. This one here is this one here. There's nothing in there. Um, we can do this, we can pick this up and put it on there and it will run it, close it and it will put get that in here and now it's converted it to a JPEG. Let's get rid of that and just to prove it has gone, let's get rid of empty the bin, empty the bin, come on, be nice. There we go, empty the bin. Okay, but the other way of doing it is we can put it into here, which is now here. This is now, um, if I bring it up, it should be a PNG folder, it's a PNG here. So I just pick this up here, and then just drop it in. It will then run Photoshop, close it, let's get rid of that, and it's in here as a JPEG here. So, that is that. So I think that's quite, um, for me, it's a really powerful tool that is, because um, it just converts everything really, really quick. And why is this not? Well, I hope you enjoyed that and got a little bit out of it. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.